Hello everyone, my name is Mike. In this video, I'll show you how you can get Google to index your website instantly using the indexing API that Google of. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if you use Google Search Console, you will know that you can kind of force Google to index your URL. So let's say you have a blog site and your URL will look like that. So your domain slash blog slash the name of the article. So let's say like test for example okay so you just posted a blog okay google of course doesn't show it on google automatically so what you end up doing is going right here give it the link so i'll do a valid link so you give it the link but instead of contact it will be your article and here you do request indexing so when you search for that article in google it shows up it might not show up in the top but it shows up nonetheless. So what you would end up doing is click here, request indexing, it will test it and then index the website. But what if you post like 10, 20 blogs a day or even more? That's, that's problematic. So what I found out is by using the indexing API that Google's offer, you can give it a list of URLs, up to 200 URLs, per day so yeah i end up using node so javascript node.js to do that and i build a script that you can give two, up to 200 urls and then it will index them out of month but before you do that first of all you have to go to google cloud platform and create a project because what we need to do is like i told you it has a limit but how will it know how much you have posted first of all you you have to be an owner of that website, of that domain. So how do you know that? You, if you are an owner, you will have it on your Google search console right here. But if you are, then follow along. If you are not, uh, you have to get ownership of that domain. You don't have to own the domain. You just have to get ownership on Google search console. Just follow the steps it will give you. Okay, so if you are the owner on the same Google account that you use, that you have the ownership at, go at google cloud platform link down in the description on this specific link and you'll create a project i'll click continue so what we need to do is get a key that has some information there it has your client email and some other information we need to authenticate ourselves i'll go to credentials of that project now that i created oh nope i didn't mean to do that so for an api we need the indexing api and we don't need user data we only need application data just to be sure click yes doesn't matter now click done actually it matters click yes click done and now you want to go here create credentials never mind we have to go somewhere else okay so follow along we have to visit another page now link down in the description here i'll I have clicked service accounts, but that's already clicked if you follow the link. So I'll click the project I created, then give me a stick. Now I have to do create service account, give it a name, I'll do test, create and continue. No need to do anything here and give me one second. Okay. So now that we created it, copy this one right here because we have to go on Google search, con search console and give access to this email address. So we will follow a link again. So with this email, copy it, go back, go to settings on the domain you want to use the script for, the indexing API. Now go to users and permissions. Okay, so now that you copied the email, go to here, manage property owners. You will have to click the ownership of which domain you want to do that for, and then click here, add an owner and here you'll copy paste that email so give me a second so right here i'll copy it paste it click continue click actions and click manage keys we have to create a new key because we don't have one and we need JSON. this will be downloaded make sure you don't lose that if you do lose that i guess you can create a new one but yeah just don't lose it so that's it now all we have to do is on the script side. So yeah, let's go on the code. So now on the code, I use Node.js. So you'll have to download Node.js from Google just to Node.js, download, download it from the official site. Then you will have to download the code from GitHub, link down in the description. And then last step you have to do is install the packages. So just open command line on the folder of the code and run MPMI and then follow along. 
So on the service class account.json, you will have to get your JSON that you downloaded, place it inside, copy the content, and copy it on the service class account.json, and then you can delete the other JSON. Yeah, we don't we don't need it anymore. Now on index.js, let me give you a short explanation of what is happening here. So we're using Google APIs and we use that to authenticate ourselves. And how we do that is we send some of the data from the service class account or JSON. And what we end up getting is a token and we use that access token to authenticate ourselves. And then we're using an endpoint from indexing.google API and we post all those urls with some information in them so what they take is url class updated this is the type of the url so updated means either the content is updated or it's a new url so yeah and there's more types i'll leave the api of the indexing api down in the description so you can check them out so yeah we're using the batch endpoint and we post all those urls together and that's all it does is to send a request, post a request, and it gets the URLs indexed. Now, how fast is it? I tested it with a website that it's about one month old, and I posted 200 URLs, and it indexed 100 of them in under 12 hours. And I believe the next 12 hours, it will index the other 100 URLs. So I believe in 24 hours, you can index about 200 URLs. And that's for a brand new website. Now, if you have a website that is one year old or something, and it has some traffic, then you can index your pages like in minutes, in hours, it depends on the traffic. But the website I give you as an example that I have doesn't have much traffic, it's brand new. It might have like 20 clicks in one month, and that's it, it's just brand new. Okay, so let's test it out so we make sure we didn't forget anything. I'll open my page right here, and of course, contact it's still not available that didn't work contact page is still not available so i'll just copy the url go on the urls.txt now let's run the script so we make sure it works correctly so first of all you'll learn npmi just download the packages have already done that and now node index.j and boom so to make sure it works what would what would you see here for each url so you will see this multiple times is url underscore updated if it doesn't work it will say you something like permission denied if you didn't give it uh, the permission or if you forgot something if it gives you something else rather than that please comment down below and i'll help you as up now of course another type that you might see is the, the url underscore updated something that says that you exceeded the limit or something like that that's of course because you have posted more than 200 urls so if you do that just wait about a day i think 24 hours so yeah code down in the description hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos and also let me know down in the description what you would like to see next and if you need any help setting up the script so yeah